It is. Now, before you celebrate the lights, we have to also celebrate the turkey, too. That's right. This week, we have been showcasing our Thanksgiving recipe week with a new recipe from one local chef every morning. And today, we are thrilled to welcome back Chef Lydia Gwen of Gwen's Tiny Kitchen for, and I'm going to emphasize it, a simple cranberry sauce. Simple, no heat required. No, no stove. heat. It could be made in advance. You can eat it as many different ways as you want. It doesn't just have to be in the bowl on the side of the table. Yes. That maybe gets bumped with the elbow. So there's different ways to do it. Which so. also sounds like great leftovers. Oh my gosh. There's so many <laughs> things you can do with it. So I, this is the one thing that is always on the list that everyone requests that I bring. Okay. And it's like, like I said, it's simple. It's five ingredients. So we've got a bag of cranberries. You've got one jalapeno. You're going to do two green onions, um, a bushel of cilantro. Now I know some people are non-cilantro people. Yes. It's not a deal breaker. You can take it out if you're okay. not cilantro. Um, a little bit of cumin and then you put it in a food processor, blend it and puree it up and then you just add a cup of sugar and you're done. That's and it. And you let it sit and it turns into a, it, like this tool that is so versatile. And here's what I'm going to tell you, cranberry sauce I feel like gets even cranberries. It is such an essential part to balancing out our Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. Because everything's really heavy, it's, it's a got a lot of gravy. It's Butter, yeah. it's fat, but this is sort of like the brightness of the table. So by eating that cranberry sauce and having a really good one that's not overly sugar or have a lot of citrus in it, it's going to make everything else like pop on and that I table. And I cannot believe it's truly only five, <sighs> five simple yeah. ingredients, five minutes to just hop all of in this a into processor. a processor. Yep. And so take us through some of these little yes. dishes okay. you have. So this is usually how leftovers are eaten um, when I leave it with the guests, and it's just yes. simply eaten as a salsa. Because keep in mind that a salsa yeah. is just a sauce. So they just eat it with with chips. I've had people eat it with their spoons. Um, I like to take it and I will mix it with a little bit of mayo and put it on sandwiches. Ooh. And I made ham sandwiches with Gouda because it's not just for turkey. It could go yes. for ham, it can go on roast beef. It's very versatile. And then last but not least, like think in mind that cranberries also go into our holiday Christmas season, all of the stuff that happens in December. So you can you can translate this also into entertaining with um, a brie. I baked a brie um, and then I put the sauce on top, let it bake, and then I put hot honey on top of it with some chips. That sounds but amazing. But you could do it on a like a you know a crostini if you wanted to. Yeah. If you don't want to bake it and you just want to do it simple, goat cheese or a Ooh, brick of borsin. Oh, goat cheese. It is it is Chef the way Lydia, to go. You are speaking to me right now. Okay. <laughs> simple, easy, and you can keep using it yes. days on end. And but the, it gets even easier because you can also buy this. Yes. So uh, starting today, I have um, have it available at Vitali's Deli in Glendale. Uh, for purchase. So okay. Like, hey, one less thing to do. You one can swing by thing. the Tally's in Glendale and it'll be there for you to have. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Chef Lydia Gwen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You can take a look at your full screen. She has a cooking class, a Thanksgiving cooking class, and it sounds like you can learn how to cook a turkey upside down, yes. which is crazy. November 14th. So you're going to want to check out her website, her on socials, find out all that information because as you can see, she's a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. And we'll be right back.